I'm Will Jones. I'm a senior consultant with QED Environmental Services, and I recently wrote a white paper on clandestine laboratory assessment and management. So, what is a clandestine laboratory? A clan lab is a site where illicit drugs are manufactured in secret, usually using improvised materials and methods. In Western Australia, uh, the police have detected 950 clan labs since 2006-2007. Unfortunately, the police admit they only get a detection rate of between 5 and 10 percent, and that means there's between 9,000 and 19,000 clandestine laboratory sites in Western Australia. Since 2014-15, there's been a 76% decline in clan lab detections in Western Australia. However, this has been mirrored by a significant increase in drug importation. So drug use and drug increase are the, the second highest on record. So what are the risks of clan labs? Active clan labs inevitably have a high number of risks, uh, which you could probably all be aware of. These include uh, caustic fumes, they include needle injuries, they include explosion, fire, uh, gassing, a variety of risks in active clan labs, but what you might not expect is the risks posed by former clan lab sites. The primary risk in former clan lab sites in Western Australia is methamphetamine residue. This is a fine residue of methamphetamine that can be spread widely through a building, and that residue can continue to have impact on building occupants for years to come. So what should you do if you suspect your property has been used to manufacture or to deal drugs? Fortunately, in Western Australia, we have quite a robust system for dealing with methamphetamine contamination in properties, and the Department of Health maintains a list of forensic contractors who can guide you through the process of assessment and remediation of your dwelling. At QED, we believe that methamphetamine residues, particularly in rental properties, is a public health risk that's not currently being effectively managed. To do so will require collaboration between government, private industry and landlords with real estate agents at the front line. If you'd like to know more about methamphetamine assessment and management, download the white paper from our website.